what's up guys welcome back to the channel for another food review um if you don't know or you're new to this channel my name is jason i'm type 1 diabetic but i really really love food and as you can probably put two and two together that's not a very good mix today i'm gonna be trying papa john's new papadillas um i bought two of them there's four flavors i bought the philly cheesesteak one and the italian but the italian came with banana peppers so i took that off because i'm i don't care for banana peppers but uh, there's also like a barbecue one and a bacon and beef one, I think, as well, if I remember correctly. Anyway, I picked the two flavors that I thought I was going to like the best, so let's just get into it. Starting off with the, this looks like the Italian? Yeah, yeah, this is the, the Italian, so let's dig into it. Looks like it's got mozzarella cheese, bacon, and Italian sausage. Honestly though, this tastes just like a Italian pizza. <laughs> it's good though. I like it. Now let's try it with the uh, included pizza sauce. Which is basically just marinara sauce. Dip that in there. That's good. The meat, or the Italian sausage has a little bit of a spice kick to it, but nothing that most people can't, can't handle. I mean, if you had some Italian sausage on anything before, then you're probably used to the spice, so it shouldn't bother you. It's good, though. But it's something that I feel like I should probably just warn you about. I think I like this Italian better without the pizza sauce, but it, but it's still good either way. You, you can't go wrong. Now let's move on to the Philly cheesesteak flavor. Now the Philly cheesesteak papadilla comes with uh, Papa John's garlic sauce instead of their pizza sauce. Wonder why. Anyway, there is the Philly cheesesteak case. Okay, quesadilla papadilla. Uh, looks like it's got sausage, mozzarella cheese, green bell peppers. That's, that looks like about it. Let's go for it. Oh. And there's onions in this too. That makes sense. This one's also really good, surprisingly. Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I wouldn't expect to, you know, these properties to have like a lot of flavor, but these are actually pretty good. The one thing I'll say about the Philly cheesesteak one is that I can't really taste the onions all too much, but the bell peppers, I, I, I can taste the the green peppers, anyway, I should say. Those I can taste, as, along, with, along with the steak and cheese, it's a very nice blend. I'm assuming that the onions are there just for texture or just because that's traditionally what you put in a Philly cheesesteak, but I really can't taste it. For Maybe it's just me. I have no idea. It's possible. But uh, let's try it with the garlic dipping sauce now. Woo! That's a strong smell. Garlic sauce is good. But it's a little too strong to the point where it almost overpowers the taste of the Philly cheesesteak papadilla. So unless you really like garlic sauce, I wouldn't recommend adding it, adding it to the um, to the papadilla. Whereas with the Italian and the pizza sauce, you know you, you could go either way and it would still taste good. But for the Philly cheesesteak papadilla, I would recommend not using the garlic sauce again unless you just really love garlic sauce, because because otherwise it just kills the taste of the papadilla itself. And then by that point, what are you eating it for? Also, bonus review, um, if you're diabetic like me and you also really love sweet tea but can't find a good diet variety, I'd recommend a Gold Peaks brand of a diet sweet tea. It's actually really good. Anyway, that's it. Um, I say, at least with the Italian and Philly cheesesteak papadillas, those are really good. Um, uh, maybe I'll do the other two in another future video review. We'll see. Um, but for now, I'd recommend both of these. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, if you like the video, please like it. And please subscribe to my channel if you feel like it. If you don't, that's okay. But um, I'll see you in the next one.